uh, the office for everybody involved. Dust two, map number three. Cold Zara has completely ignored his form throughout this entire year. You look at the stats of this series, he's head and shoulders above the rest, especially after Inferno, and we are straight into the pistol. Rain gifted a P250, and for very good reason. One of the statistical best for FaZe, NBK. Good control, quickly traded, and Nico onto NBK in middle. Issa's responsibility is B, but there is a CT lean. Three on A. I'm talking bigger picture in my mind. This should be an OG win here. I, I feel like this should be oh. theirs. And if Mantu keeps this oh. up, it's going to be sexy shots with the USB, making it look so clean. But he's still got to deal with Kierby, and he's got to be quite cautious on this. He has support, though. He's got Valde on his back, and the flash did nothing to help. Merely offered it. Uh -oh. Nico's found he's another. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, but the bomb, the bomb. It's okay. The bomb's still under control. But they have a minute to play with, and a minute of paranoia is a lifetime's Huge. worth. And Alexi B gets curious and they find each other. Nico wants it. He toys with his oh. meal, but Alexi B looks to fight back. Nico low. Oh. Look at the control. One bullet. He's down. Oh. Holder laying in wait here. Might just take Kirby down if he doesn't clear this. He will. But Lazy <gasps> Clear still gets the kill. No way. And he's already softened up. Alexi's down to 68. Jumps to confirm. Kirby has a chance. A real one. Looking to make some huge impact. Very loud on the cross to the ramp side. Kirby readies himself. He's already got one, one flash. One when surprised. Now he's got one left for the oh. clutch. And he nearly hits it there. Nearly finds the head. He's playing a dangerous game. Five HP. Has to adjust. Doesn't know. Catches a glimpse. Alexi playing with him. Janav, eventually the fin comes out on top. But what a way to set the scene for this third map. Well, Valde was the hero last time they played Dust2, almost the villain here in the pistol round, not being able to convert what should have been an absolute sitter there. But this was good stuff, flashed up, Kirby and Nico almost make a round of it, and the fact it comes down to a one-on-one -on -one with the plant, that bodes very well going forward mm. for the FaZe Clan side of things. The force bite, will it come through? AK out and Kirby, we've seen him do the hero AK quite a lot, and he's going to be the only one... Oh, there we go, Ooh. the rest of the purchase follows through. There so they're going to drop guns across, there's more AKs on the ground. Two, so it's three in total. And uh, we also have a scout in play for Brokey. So very deadly looking by Nico on the Deagle. Yeah. I don't know if I'd want anybody else. All right. So who wants the free Twitter interaction? Take a screenshot. Say who won pistol. We get it. Do it. We understand. Was that a nade right there on terrain? Or was that just a tag of bullets? It, it could have been the... No one else has got armor. So rain will operate at 50. Okay. Scout revealed pressure applied and no oh. nico does more than apply pressure he removes a head mantu forced to watch Issa as he tries to control middle he may not have anticipated a second and so positioning alone gets the trade hey. they're going straight into nbk and he's nearly got two he does a double with the mp9 the perfect weapon for the close duel and these ak's are falling flat soggy cardboard round for phase clan ak's for free as well that's an m4 scooped up and NBK grabbing himself an AK-47 for his Jews as well. Four kills for NBK in that round. So good to see him coming online here. He needed to do so on Inferno to get a couple of rounds on the board for OG in a game that was quick as you like. After a double overtime opening, it was a 16-5 victory for FaZe Clan on map number two, the choice of OG, and that's why we're here on Dust 2. Pick a phase. If they can get this done in three, they're going to be happy with that because as we move forward, the maps get a little bit more tactical. The trains and infernos of the world, uh, uh, trains and nukes of the world, even are going to get a little, a little bit more difficult. And this buy looking good for OG now. Well, we've seen one reverse sweep in the past, as of late, I guess. Yeah, we'll even give that one the asterisk, I think. Yeah, that, that gets it all. Um, this is is quite monumental, though. No, we haven't heard from. Okay. I mean, it's crazy. It's a grand final, but it is an eco. No. Oh, you're we right. Wouldn't. Rushley, Hello. we unleash him now. Yeah, I, think it's to, I think it's your time to shine, my brother. Well, I think Mantu's got this one purely secured. Peeking out, walk at one. It takes a lot of damage, though. Could get overrun, doesn't look likely, but it does drop in the end now. This is going to be a hard play up cap. Molotov down. Cold Zero doesn't care, though, but yeah, he kind of wish he did, probably. And now it's just KV with the P2. It's a good gun, but it's not going to make it work. How are you doing, Rush? How are you finding the final? It's good fun so far. Really enjoying it. I'm very curious about the reverse sweep. It is possible, so we'll see <laughs> if it comes in. Did you did you predict again? I predicted FaZe Clan this time. Oh, okay. So it's feeling a, a little smug there, I hear there. Okay. You know. I did go for the OG camp. 
So let's see if they can really dig their heels into the CT side and, and start to do... Up, double orbs, Alex, straight away. Oh, oh okay. Geez. So Alexi straight into it with that of Mantu. So Alexi taking that, and of course, it makes a lot of sense with the switch of the doors. By being here, he can support B and middle for that integral information. Around the edge of the smoke. Very common, but Rain will put in a couple of speculative shots. Alexi trying to strafe back and forth. Doesn't want to take his eye from the scope as the element of surprise still integral to his plans here. Brokey could be caught. Rain confirms there's an orb for present, dropping the incendiary to buy time. A flash as well. Pulling a lot out with just a little. Rain yet to frag, though. Want to see him online early. Dust to one of his specialties. Nico there too. Let's see B on the readjustment. Was that one pass? But Rain, very lucky to be alive here. Anto wants to dunk him. Com comms has been had. Rain, hey. bye. Oh. See you later. Alligator, brokey low too. Looking great for OG to start things off. I think another one of those iconic NBK team talks might have gone down. Yeah, this low HP from Nikon broke. It's going to be hard to operate with as Alexi B tucks over towards the B side of things as well. And we only have 40 seconds left on the clock. Oh, very deep upper dark smoke here to hold them back. FaZe might even be considering a save. Seems odd to suggest so early, but mid B smoke. Three CTs on A. If they were to find a, w a way in, NBK's hopefully, or hoping to do more damage with that nade, he's thrown it right into the face of Kirby. Cold. Just as his smoke fades, he starts to push, and he has oh. found Valda. This is where the B players need one. One is all they need, oh. and Cold! Oh my goodness, the pressure from behind. He's so distracted now into the site. They get the one for one. Cold continues! He's got another! They've turned this round on his head, and they have got the bomb down in time. What a turnaround from FaZe Clan. Cold Zera, a Brazilian possessed. Brokey. Gets it. Takes the fight to Mantu and FaZe Clan on the board. Big thank you from a 3v5. Chad's talking about saving cold. Finds three through middle. He should never have had any of those kills, you would say. How does he even find that space in that room? Sure, the smoke was great, but the rotation was coming in mid-doors as well as CT spawn to deal with this. And Cole just hit some absolute bangers. First round on the board for FaZe from nowhere. That's a miracle round. That's a oh, FaZe round oh, right yeah. there. And I don't know what's going on. You can see that look, OG are a bit shaken. Late out of spawn is Issa. Boosting the orb. What's your plan here? There's a little gap in the door they're going to try and exploit here, see if they can take Brokey out. But Ooh. now that somebody's close, they can't go for that. It's a nasty sound cue to be dropping. Yeah, Nico very close by as well. That smoke does go into play. You can see Alexi be very aware of this and love to play around it, but this time Rain's already up towards Cat, so no tags to be found that time around. However, Nade in response. I love this little almost blind battle. You, you hear bits and pieces, small information gets relayed, and you have to respond so perfectly. First time we're seeing a lot of long presence, a lot of conditioning from phase that mid, cat, short, these were the areas that they're going to try and reside in. But Mantu better be keeping in mind that long is very much open here because three players are coming his way, and he's going to find out if he can deal with them anytime now. They're playing it close to the wall, cautiously working their way up, keeping the... They're going quickly on this. If CT can't contribute, Mantu's in a lot of trouble. He does oh, find the first challenge. On, he needs a second, and Nico's gone. Brokey at the next task, but Rain in the feed as well. Alexi in the smoke. If he's been spotted, Brokey continues to impress. And now it's all on Issa. A flurry of frags, and they're all phases. That was insane that Brokey saw the feed as he jumped across there. That is a wild kill to find. And look at this, just the CZ. He spotted Kirby, sure, that's great. But there's no way back into this round. There's no defuse kit to play for. There's no territory taken. It's just this pistol. It looks weak. It looks like... Round two on the board for FaZe here. Yeah, I think Kirby's even like flirting with the idea of trying to stop the safe. Little does he know it's Issa that's hunting him. And the hunter being Good. hunted. Oh, very nice work. Is that a voice line from something I've played? Probably. It's it's a the bloodhound guy from Apex. I can't remember. A hunter become that no? Maybe, yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh, you know there the hunt begin is what he uh, says. That's what he yeah, says. Yeah, yeah. Well, Issa is not going to get anything with his CZ seventy five. I don't think I've said the full name of that thing in a while. No, nor I. Felt weird. Good commitment, though. <laughs> Thank you. So, did we get the <laughs> oh, second yeah. one here from Brokey? This one, what does he see? I think he must have seen the feed as he jumped across there because he definitely felt like he saw something. That was... Oh, this is, is oh these cold. are the cold frags, finally. Oh, okay, okay. That's the third one. This was, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, get... So get. clean. Alex, have you got any mash? Yeah, because that's a banger. <laughs> but, um... Tss.
Brokey and Cold, they struggled on Dust2 in the previous meeting. Brokey had 46 ADR and Cold 60. Good time for them to come online. It's a late cross there with the smoke, so... Right now, just these pistols from OG. We wouldn't say anything too threatening on the board with just the P250 CZ damage done to Alexi B, who's down to one of the three USPs. Rush, we might run out of maps. Do you want to have another one? <laughs> if I must do, yeah, sure. I'm all for it. Another eco here. I think... Uh... Our friend uh, Issa here is the only danger man. Did save this. The CZ has some util though, so that's kind of nice. Might think about setting some plays up, but he is quite isolated at the moment just with his little teammate Val there. But the B play coming in. But Nico absolutely wastes them over here. But look at this crossfire. It's a nice crossfire. You'll clear one. Oh! oh. Delay him through. Oh! <laughs> damn. Team... I thought it was a team kill for a second. Not bad from man yeah. to all things considered. Nice Double kill. This, the rebuy. Check out this CT side of buy, right? Look at what they're working with. It's just above that 4.5k mark for most of them. So as they buy in, it will be Kevlar, not head armor. Then they get the rifle. Okay, well, you've just spent a chunk of change. Now you have to decide what utility either you can afford or what utility you need to prioritize. And right here, they don't have a single Molotov. And with long, you need the Molotov towards the doors. You need the Molotov it's towards the blue bin. He had a really good spawn for long, and I wonder if he was feeling... Oh, I was really hoping he was just feeling himself to do something a bit naughty. They don't have the AWP either. So right now they had double AWPs on the first gun round here, OG. Now they have none. That's a massive omission for a man to especially. I mean, yeah, you're right. Starting with double and now in a f otherwise full weapon round, not being able to present it could present some options for phase. Alexi's given responsibility of middle. We saw what Cold could do with that much space in that highlight package. Flashing around the corner of short. There's nobody home and more of a long leniency and BK tucking into the site now. If they just execute through short here, it's going to be so difficult for OG to deal with this. No Molotovs to slow them down. They'll have to play behind their own smokes or use their flashes perfectly to find the picks. That's the only way that OG can win this round. Utility cannot be their friend. It has to be the frags. It has to be multis. Alexi floating, following the util, like a moth to the flame. One way. Surely Alexi doesn't give it to Rain. He knows what's going on. He knows the capabilities of that smoke. And so tucking into CT, 48. Brokey has the one smoke. And oh I my can't God. Believe oh, that? Cold gets that. Yo, look at this guy. The King Kong Zilla. God, Zara, this is <laughs> nuts. This guy's like uh, like on it. Wait, wait, wait. Does he get any more? No. Okay. There he is. Finally comes in, spraying him wildly. Like, Alexi B's running. Tail between the legs. Get out of there. You want to you wanna try and survive? They should save. Where's that bomb? Did it drop down? No. Nicely handled. Kept himself back to the wall far enough that the bomb didn't drop down. Bomb plant comes in. Comfortable for long as well. Save time. You're not you're not getting any more. It's done. Oh. Phase have just like kicked into gear. Do we have that long pick? Like if we have that from Cold <laughs> Look at this guy. That's wild. Like clearing the top bin position, sure. You know, if you're going through the paces, it does make sense. But uh, the fact that he hits that and hits it so cleanly. Please. Like Valda shot first as well. <laughs> I want to know whether or not he was just placing his cross there or if it was reactionary. That was some wild stuff there. And that's going to be the fourth on the board for Phase Clan. So this last spree of rounds that they've put on through has been looking very, very good. Like, Colts helped them in so many rounds. The 3v5 with the mid to B kills was nuts. That kill right there put all the pressure on the A defenders as the execute was coming through. That's exactly what you need. It's exactly what you want. And Rain's even hunting. Why not? Oh. It does go down. That could be an AK if they're feeling very bold. I, I think boldness is, is much missing right now for OG. And uh, Nico can happily reinvest. No, Literally no problems for FaZe. Okay, well, here's the cold. Okay, wow. All right. Snappy. That was, no. uh, that was something special, wasn't it? <laughs> Jesus, okay. Oh, man, what are you meant to do? Well, the saved guns is good if you are an OG member and they have the loss bonus coming on through, which next round means they will be able to buy. This round, it means that with the 2900, they just have to limp in with some pistol investments for MBK and Valde. And they flirted with the idea of going for some mid picks. This time, it wasn't FaZe barreling down mid, it's barreling out long. And th there are some rifles. Oh. Sorry, there were some rifles oh. here. Um, I'm really, I You've apologize. You've got families, Rain. Please, he's, he's put the he put the picture back. Oh. That's what it is. He's put the damn kimchi picture right behind him, it's, and the power it's, comes uh, through. Lauren, it's yes. Sir Kimchi. Do you reckon you? Sonia got on the line and was like, um, "Excuse me, Wait, Rain, they, got, they want it's Sir the Kimchi." Back up. Sonia, you know, put this picture. Up, picture up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it makes me want to do commission dart. I just don't have anyone to get it for. 
Buy for yourself. Chad, I might commission some art of us. You don't I'm have gonna a get, pet. I'm gonna, oh, no, no. There, there's, there's actually a really cool artist that does like these kind of like um, kind of synth wavy pictures. Well, have, you seen, have you seen Jericho's display picture on Twitter? You know. Have a look. See if you like the style because I'll get, I'll get it done. Oh, for all talk of to us. me. Yeah, Terry yeah. Tibbs. Orp is out. Uh, just to note here, Mantu has the AWP now on round number nine. Scoreline five to three in favor of FaZe. He's the uh, man leading the charge right now. Ten kills to his name. A lot of ADR, but needs to find more impact here. Won't be in the oh, line of sight. Mantu has a look. I'm going to squeal. I don't think he's that brave, Alex. <laughs> I think he might just stay where he is. Yeah, okay. Well, he's a reserved gamer. I don't have the patience to hold a line like this. He's doing it perfectly. Holding short and eventually could very well get challenged. Flashes will force him off the line, though. Here's the steps. He knows this action. Molly actually is the utility of choice. Falls back to a second line. The flashes force him off. Confirms there is presence up short. Flash to reposition. It's perfectly eaten. Rain. It's a one calorie flash. You'll have to add to his calorie calculator. Alexi has a lot of utility to deal with this here, so... He tries it every time. Hasn't worked yet. Nades all right. Ooh. Alexi's just deterred him. Still holding on to the smoke and Molotov for now is Alexi, and that's important. 45 seconds left on the clock. This time around, it looks like it will be back towards Cat, or it could still be the mid to B as they limp out both those smokes. That's exactly what OG are thinking. Where do we ply ourselves? Is it mid to B? Is it going to be A? Well, Hold's joining it's them. Be a. It's all short. 30 seconds. This is the... Uh... Set of smokes, the Avangar smokes, if you will. Kirby's looking to cut two rotators off here. He is completely lurking. Nico oh, dropping. And they are going B. Wait. Oh, and oh, that's the opening. Wait. No way, Isa. No way he handles this. They're just crashing towards B like a wave. He's done. Rain's in there. Oh, Brokey's wow. covering it off. Faze are finding form here. Yeah. Oh, so risky as well because Brokey's taking a duel against Alexi and Spawn with the bomb on his back. If he goes down, 10 seconds left on the clock, the bomb skittles forward. They potentially lose that one just because the bomb didn't get planted. But Faze, they even had me fooled. I thought, okay, they faked the mid to B. All right, they're faking A. Oh, no, they're committing A. Nope, they went mid to B. And the fact that they were able to pull that off, you could see how strung out OG were in that entire mix. Two players survive. They have to save again. Max loss bonus is on the table. So quickly turns from feeling like a, an OG advantage to a Kirby one-tap into a B hit. That was... Oh, Jiggle. Look at that. Just showing his shoulder. Forces Valda to confirm his location. Two of them might catch that nade, but... Nice. Brokey's just giving nice. him it. Bit of an odd one. Plenty of cash for them. They really want to take this weapon oh, out of his hands, and he does break. hold on to it. Won't recover the orb. But this was the opening I'm talking about. Bye bye, NBK. And Nils where Brokey catching that CT seconds. rotate. Yeah. That's the shot. Bang. Issa suddenly paranoid. Has to be worried about tunnels and the B rap. Really, really good calling and execution from FaZe at the moment. It does look like a different squad, and it's good to see the power of the mental game. Yes, people can like to theorize as to why and how this team is so unpredictable. One day they're hot, one day they're not. This time, it does seem like they are piping hot. The pressure through middle is is unwavering. They're just biffing cat. Not a worry in the world. See if any worries can start. Alexi B is there. The Finn stays cool under pressure with Mantu by his side. What a now molly. They need, some more. they need to keep this utility is open. Bumping, they're all in these CT. guys are pouring through. They're all in CT. You're all oh! in CT. Mantu! Absolute disrespect. Bounds up. Barrel to the brain, finds one, but he's still tucked it. He can't leave. Give me another. Give me another jump no scope. Madness. Kirby's on the four. Okay, goes down. Brokey and Cold to clutch. 2v4 shouldn't be anything. Likely won't as the nades land on Brokey and Cold. Delta near dud hand. He needs to find him, and the flashes are so good. Nice. Clean retake from OG. That's more like it. That's what the doctor ordered. That was almost a nightmare. They took long. Then the four players are coming up short. You could see the OG. Sure, they were looking towards the short position. They had to take back Cat because if they didn't, they'd lost long and Cat. And then all three of them were stuck down towards CT spawn trying to boost up. What it's is fine, going on dude. Here? It's fine. You just have to hit jumping no scopes, obviously. Like that. Why couldn't you do that? Whoop. Bye-bye. Okay, well, that one's uh, not an every day of the week type kill, but an important one. <laughs> I think you can see what that means right there because that was uh, not the place you want to find yourself on the CT side Just of Dust 2. Do that again, right? Yeah, simple. Well, the double orbs are out. <laughs> <laughs> Alexi's using the spawn right now to go long for the corner pick here, and he's going to get met. Oh, those flashes are suppressing. He does fire off the shot, wants to ward. Same strat. Yeah. They felt like it wasn't the strat, it was the execution. 
Two holding middle. Combination of smokes. Spray from Issa. Right. This is a pace and a level from phase we're unfamiliar with. Yeah, they're, they're flooding into the site and it's all blue on brown. Alexi even with the P250. Hyerby claws one back and this mid round has gone OG's way. Bomb loose. Bodies dropped, long pressure, and it is already Valda hearing all of this. He's just going to have a chance, and he converts it. OG keeping it competitive here on Dust2, and that finally puts another round and two in a row on the board. They have finally broken their silence after a slew of six in a row from FaZe Clan in the middle stages of our third map here. Just to note with that round, FaZe are hoping that OG go all in on long right, to keep them in transition. Because if they go all in to fight long and get long control, what that means is FaZe can just stroll out a catwalk and take the A site. They're dumping so many nades at long at the start, and then they're dumping so many in middle to get the players in transition from the B bomb site. And from that stage, they're trying to just play the rotations. But OG in both rounds have been able to handle it. That round much cleaner than the previous. But it's their ability not to need to go in all in towards long. Is this up? Uh, he grabs one. The nade was good. Voldo's trying to help one out. But uh, this is just three pistols. Well, now an M4 and a Deagle. So Kevlar vests. Maybe. I'm shouldn't, not that fast. Shouldn't be anything. Shouldn't be. And isn't. Man two. Pillar of consistency. You're right to highlight Mantu. He has been quite the saving factor for them in the last couple of rounds, especially his presence. Yeah, I think he went down the like, last one, but he still got the ramp. He still did yeah, it. you know the the round where Brokey got that ridiculous smoke shot on Alexi and they lost. Yeah. Mantu held two wolves wolves from the door on that ramp with his orb. He was asked to find a multi, and he did in high pressure circumstances here. A grand final, and you're zero two down. He's still finding every frag demanded of him, even the ones that aren't flying no scopes. So no reason to be concerned if you're an OG fan. This one being wrapped up nicely by your uh, Valda and the Mantu, respectively. Triple kill from him as he finds his 16th on the board at the round 12 marker. Look at that nade. Softening him up for the frag, even slowing him down as well. It's a crucial component, not often discussed. First bullet that hits you, really slowing down your acceleration of your model, makes it a whole lot easier to hit the rest. Nades do the same. Opening kill check in. It's eight to four in favor of OG. So you can see FaZe have been overcoming that four versus five. FaZe have already gotten more. <gasps> okay. FaZe have already gotten more uh, T sided rounds than they did last time these guys played in IEM New York. That was just a couple days ago. So if they can post more on the board, seven or eight, they're going to be sitting pretty for that CT side. And we've seen that OG's T sides can sometimes look a little discombobulated when spanners are thrown into the works. Smokes his own molly. Valdon wants to take full control of the long doors and the taps from cold almost confirmed that there's no one home. It's been a constant battle between those two as well, but while all this happens, there is that cat play coming up as well. Rain slowly working it. Attention not being ignored towards B either. It's a four-man alien right now. Alexi, the only one over towards that B site, he's already been tagged down through the doors in the early stages. So if it is a mid to B or it was a B hit, Alexi might be in a bit of strife. But as I say, that the rotation from MBK comes over to clear off towards mid, and they'll just go back into a standard 2-3 yeah. hold. So this has been a default setup from FaZe, one towards long, one towards tunnels, the pack towards middle, and they've gotten their first point. That is catwalk covered on off. Now, it might be a retake setup if the flashes are good. You can see Mantu towards the car position. If the flashes are... Ooh. Well, uh, the shadow advantage is with you this time, but he needs a follow-up now. Kirby's also here, and if he gets too curious, may just kill the cat. Yeah, down he goes. Now the pressure on shore begins, but East is in a good spot for at least one. Rain keeps this very relevant, though, and it's Mantu again asked a very big question. Let's see if he's got the answer to it. Plant for short, safe from long. MBK through CT. Can't believe Kirby's still holding that position. Mantu's coming as well. He's clearing the doors. Wow, Mantu, full deep clear of long doors. Does he go all the way round? Yeah, he's going to have to come long. Rain vulnerable to MBK's swing here. Crouches into the line and finds it. That could be enough to spell Alexi's trouble oh, and demise. Yeah, yeah Brokey catching Mantu. They're going to find everything here. Not only the round, but every weapon that was attached to them. Alexi, he may evade the bomb radius, but I'm not sure he's going to go unchecked. Oh, hello. And goodbye. Oh. Great stuff from Kyoby, getting that kill on long on Volder and then just staying alive, knowing that his long presence has already been made. And you could see just how hard Mantu had to bite. Because if Mantu decides to fight long, start shooting shots towards that, th that side of things, 
Kirby could come out long doors and kill him in the back. So he had to clear it. He didn't really have a choice. Didn't even have any teammates. So a well-handled post-plant situation here from FaZe. And even taking the orb out of the picture here with that final frag. That's a big one, as you can see right now. OG will buy back in. But if they lose this one, going into the final round of play, they'll only have that $2,400 loss bonus. And that's going to be a scrappy CT side of buy. Rain, this is very quick, though. And there is Issa still here quite early. Does draw out that Molly as a quick response, maybe a quick way to deny any fast presence. But Mantu with tries to find info, but nothing to be seen. And look who's creeping over towards B. Is Kirby edging towards the smoke? He's been given a lot oh, of confidence, yeah. but and BK finds him in the smoke. Well, there is a gap right now, and that would be mid to B. They could get out and live for a pick, but... The CT sided smoke has held them at bay until a minute 15 on the clock. And now, as we take a look at FaZe, down a man. What's the solution? Second highest in the tournament for converting these disadvantages. FaZe, 36% of the time, they convert it every time. Black Panther. <laughs> <gasps> no, Sex Panther, that's what it's called. Oh. It's a reference. Anchorman? Yes. Oh, I had to ask Beautiful myself that scent. question. Uh, MBK did well to find Kiebi, obviously a, a fun battle for him. Probably going to be happy that he got that, didn't lose out. But uh, tested again as ES attention may be kept towards A, but the hits towards B and MBK with Issa in tow, stand tall. Now it's on Brokey, but Nico can't capitalize on catching these rotations. The Lurk's not worked out as well as he'd like, unless he gets those doors quickly. 30 seconds now on the board, and Nico can hold the cross still. There should be no way in. Brokey's trying to go on a hunt for Issa, but exposes himself. Nicely done, Issa. Nice repositioning from him. So they've locked this round down. Looks like a seven for seven scoreline. Nico has to save as well. 1,900 in the next for phase. We were talking about the financial situ situation for OG. Well, that's because they were looking like they were on the back foot in this game. Now they even have a chance to win the half. Time will expire. They'll let him keep his gun. No point hunting on through right now. Money not great on either side of things. And you can see right now 4K for Brokey. He can buy an AK. Cold Zero can buy on in with... Uh, a uh, Galil and Rain and Kyobi might just be down to pistols. Nico will probably drop something across here for one of the two to try and make something work. A Deagle, maybe. Let him get a little bit more armor and utility behind this. And then we'll even call a timeout. And I like it. It is the last round of the first half, an important round phase. They're already up two maps to none. They win us too. They close the series. They give us a nice quick day at the office. And they lift the trophy here at IEM New York. We've got a request in from I'm Alex. I'm glad you saw that. I, I was about to highlight. Yeah, Alex Rush has uh, just tweeted us. He's asking for a crosshair check. And he's done the begging eyes. They're cute. They are cute. They're really cute. So if we could have a quick cycle through. Give them a look real wanna, quick. want to see in particular? Ooh, they're all small phases. and thin. Ooh, oh, Issa uh, with a curveball. NBK's got okay. very thick glasses. And on the other side of things Classic. from Faze. Yep. Yep. Brokey feels, yeah. More of the Cyans, more of the Blues. Oh, cyan. No rain. Why has he got four dots on his... Okay. Thank you very much. Let's return yep. to normality. Yep. And Is into a, rush a force by push. Last round of the half, yeah. guys. Looking to end it with a bang. Oh, come on. NBK's got an AWP and he's alone. This could get interesting. Give him the beat. This is down in the tunnels early. And Nico, he's not one to miss a shot. Will he be ready for the off angle? Yes. Oh, oh, but this is better. But he checked it too, though. That is really good presence of mind. But now you feel cornered. They just have and to all they B. have to do is burst into B. NBK. The Orpa was once prevalent in his hand. It's been many a moon since we've called upon this. But there we go. Oh. A nice follow up towards Kiabi. And then just keep racking him up. Close it down. It's going to be OG with the lead on the half. But it is fine margins here.
Third map of the grand finals of IEM New York online. OG and FaZe Clan are the ones duking it out and not too shabby. Doing better than they did the first time they met in the early stages of the tournament. Both meeting now in the grand finals. They did better than the first T half, Chad. What do you say they got in the first time? Uh, five. Okay, so we've got two more. Seven and an eight-seven half. OG holding the lead, albeit by the slightest of margins. As it's now time to see what OG's T side has to offer. The highest pistol round win percentage in the game. Of course, that is, of course, with the teams included here at IEM New York. 80% throughout the tournament or thereabouts. Let's see if OG can really make this second half easier by finding those pistol sidearm frags. Crane fancies his chances. Kirby posting up aggressively in tandem with his Norwegian brethren. Don't get too greedy now. Oof. Now we've seen OG string teams out on their T side of pistols. They just move around the map, they show their bodies, they force the rotations, and they've done the same to phase here. So Nico, who was towards mid doors, is now rotated back. Kyobi looking for information towards long, and he's actually gonna get helped on out. But this is down to timing. Flash comes in. Oh, it was a decoy. He was faked. Yeah, he did. Turned around though, hard to hit. And two's gone. That's a big frag from Kyobi to find Flash. it. There's so much work. The flash is good. Looking for MBK. Multiple targets. He does well oh. to find the one. Nico from elsewhere dunks on another. And it's a four versus one. Nico. Valda trapped on the blue bin. Nico popping heads and popping bottles oh, potentially oh. at the end of this map. That was uh, very important for FaZe's confidence in this second half here. In the last six rounds of the first half, they only managed to post one. The rest was all one-way traffic mm. for OG locking things down. So by FaZe getting pistol, and now if they're able to convert here, they know that they're well and truly in this game. But this is the shots from Nico here, just helping out Rain, helping out Long, and then he even turns around and takes down eh. MBK with that one tap. So fantastic shooting there from the in-game leader of the FaZe clan side of things. And it will be the save from OG. No plant for them. They've just got one flash, some Glocks on out. Looks like they're heading either towards B or through the lower tunnels. Lower tunnels it is. Alexi B with the flashbang. He'll be with the crew. But it is just Glock. So on a round like this, we bring in our best man. There's only one man for the job. Who, me? It's yes, Will Raziba from Cloud9. <laughs> Wait, where does he play? Does he play for now? Cole, thank you. Yeah, well, another Glock round here. I think it's all on this flash. See how much it gets. But they have taken short control. Do they so get not... a plant rush, yes or no? Oh, dear. Dude, have you seen that flashbang from Alexi? It's going to get him a plant. I'd like to see it. <laughs> they definitely need it. 
it's going to help him out a lot next round, but this is looking really rough. Brokey, it's a Famous. It's not an Augur and Orb, so it's it's looking possible, but I don't like this. They're running directly through a choke. If it's through the Skylights, normally players talk about these flashes being too high to do anything here, so let's, let's take see. a I look. feel like they, they get more used now. that They've just like figured out exactly what to do, but he's going to go through the door. But this is going to be... This Brokey is going to be a to. reckoning right All right, Brokey, get that HE out for me. Mm, see how this one goes. Flash coming in, slightly delayed, but they're in. Flash out, oh, Brokey yeah. peeking up, gets one. TK as well. Oh. Oh. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. So that TK from Volda, look, it's not the end of the world, but uh, it, it's not great. You don't love to see it. As uh, they get onto that nine rounds now phase. Able to easily deal with this cold zero. Now, he didn't have a huge amount of kills within that first half, but had two massive impact rounds. The kill onto Volda at long and that three piece coming out mid to be with huge rounds. Something to really, really keep in mind is OG have been throwing away a lot of these opening kills. They are 11 to 6 in opening kills right now. 11 to 6, and yet 9 to the good for FaZe Clan. Certainly, that statistic of being the second best at converting those 4v5s, I imagine they've probably inflated that statistic towards the grand finals. Often, those opening kills can be a little deceiving, those one-to-one -one trades to open rounds, of course, but still, something to keep our fingers on the pulse of. OG 11 to phases 6 and in a, opening duels. And a gamble stack from phase right now. They're banking on either a B hit or a mid to B. They have three players over towards that side of things, and so far, well, so good. Not sure if MBK walking out mid to B and not seeing anybody is an indication of what we could be looking for, but that shot through the doors oh. is Roki down to five. Yeah, they're going long, and Nico's already thinking about the tuck-in. Uh-oh. Rain holding short. Nico already gone. Looking fantastic for OG already. Bomb thrown across. Two members on the site. Rain pushing for info on short. And he does it just in time to find the one, but this B stack has not has gone awry for FaZe Clan. Are they saving it? Yeah, so yeah. they've upgraded into an AK from an MP9, so that's not too bad. And they'll carry across the Famous and the M4 for Kirby as well. So with their buy going into the next round, as we tie things up at 9-9, It'll only be the $1,400 loss bonus coming on through from FaZe, but Rain will be able to drop, and so will Kirby. So one of those two will be giving their in-game leader, Nico, a rifle. And we will see another gun round on the board for FaZe, but clean stuff as well for OG. By only losing one member, Bomb's going to go off. They'll be able to drop a gun across to MBK, and uh, we will have a very, very good-looking buy going into the next round from both sides of things here. So 9-9. Nine, nine. No CT orb just yet. Something I'm looking forward to seeing, because Nico's previously been playing his trade on it, but with Brokey picking up the prime, full primary orping, does that change things? No, he still doesn't do the orping on the CT side of uh, Dust2. It's Nico over towards A and okay. Old Zero over towards B. I don't love it. I hope they change it in the future and allow Brokey to run free. Mm. But uh, Nico, with more experience doing it at the moment, maybe you can say that's one reason why they keep running back into that setup. Org out for Kyoby here. Bit of a specialty weapon for him. Utility's good. No early indication of where OG want to take this round. <laughs> Smokes in exchange towards Long just there, both extinguishing Molotovs. And well, Rain doesn't want anything to do with this. He's going to run in back towards short. If you're a newer viewer and you just watch them both throw smokes at Mollies and run away, <laughs> it just feels like complete nonsense. But of course, trying to deceive one another in different ways. Nico Anti. Kiyomi be tucked on the corner, Rain ready to flash on their contact. This is a very strong CT lean towards short, and the info has been garnered. Nico's right on the back lines. If only he knew behind you know enemy lines. They're definitely positioned, positioned to handle this. Kiyomi's going through on the flash. They're all blind, but MBK still gets them from behind. Nico gets the two. Change of plans. Alexi pivots. Three on three, two on B. This is on the tons. Brokey looking for info. This could get oh, messy. Oh, God. If he goes through this, though, Issa is pretty prepared on the other side. I love the way we saw Rain on that mini map. Instantly go, wait, A's open. Yeah. So a little. You know, so marker. A lot of work on his plate here. Right, he does so much. And it's going to be late presence from Issa, but these two can do so much on their own. So many flashes, no smokes. They don't really need it. They can take this fight as they want. Rain, though, as well. sees it. No utility himself. Has to just hit the head. He's easier said than this done. And Long is now under pressure. It's under scrutiny. That's one. Oh, he's looking for oh! another. Rain clean as ever on these shots, but Issa has a chance. It's 18 seconds, a 1v2. He's using everything he has. <laughs> it makes sense, trying to cover his cross. Molly on the bomb, though. He's going to have to go through it. Recovers it and planting, albeit safe. 
Five seconds left. Cole can jump and finish it right here. Tagging him up even further. 17 HP. Issa, what are you made of? The only the one. Quite close for the pivot, but Cole's not making any mistakes as he secures double digits for FaZe Clan. That Rain and Nico combo again. Two from Nico on the flank towards mid doors to unravel OG's strategy. And then Rain, the fact that he did not go down in that site. He stayed. The pressure was on. This frag. The flank. Yeah, Nico's going to feel like he could have done more there, but two is nice, and two from Rain is even better. Issa with the plant. It's good for OG. It's good for their buy going forward because both teams right now are going to be operating with similar money. You can see going into this, the buy, you might make an argument that it's looking better for the OG side of things. The AWP will come out for Nico now. Famous for Brokey once more. But AK is in a MAC-10 is what OG are operating with and utility to boot. So a close one here, 10 to 9, round 20. Will they go Aggie. back for a mid to B? It's all this mid presence from FaZe. Oh, you're so quick. Nico plucks NBK out of the pack. Backing away now. Advantage found. That's an opening kill for FaZe. That puts the seventh on the board. That's still seven to 13 opening kills going OG's way, but the rounds just aren't. Certainly not this one. Five versus four. The T's regroup. And I love the fact Kirby already adjusting towards that B site. Take himself away from middle, leans on over. As they have mid, they can leave. Who is it there now? Rain. Rain, safe pair of hands every single time, every single day of the week. So the crossfire gets set into motion. Brokey, Kirby, Alexi B with the flash. It's going to be go time. Turn tucked in the corner is Brokey, Kirby for contact. Actually, no. Brokey's there, but uh -oh. they've taken down part of this puzzle. Already dismantling nice. one element, but it's going to be Kirby. Rain in support. And FaZe starting to look a little more solid. I love how fluid FaZe are looking on the CT side of rounds. Kirby traditionally over towards that long position. This time round, he actually rotates over to be the game helper at the B side of things, not Cold Zero. And a different man, a different position, not tucked in. Cold would normally just hide towards that car position. He's fighting a bit more actively. And from that, getting two massive kills with Rain coming through that window. And with that, now we find OG just down to these pistols. They'll get 2,900 as the loss bonus going into the next round, which means they will be able to buy. But the rounds are running away. This is going to be 12 on the board for FaZe. They are honestly only five rounds away from 3 0 ing this grand final. And they've already lost to OG in this tournament. The difference a couple of games can make mood changes, confidence builds, but a one for one trade out. Eco warping. Now against him are Deagles. He's gonna run boost. He could get overwhelmed here. Oh, doesn't hit the shot. Switching out to the pistol. Now there's four here. He's in trouble. Kierby is far away, but the flash saves his life. Oh. Kierby is gonna be again patted on the back for this. As Nico, yes, a little blind, but quick as ever. He hit that shot on Valder. Just keep in mind as Mantu oh. in a 1v2. On. Go on. On bullet left in the mag, and he has to make it work. Cold Zera needs to stay calm as Slowly but surely, Brokey now joins. There's a minute on the board here. Mantu might get that up. He might get a bit more of a shot at this. Something's telling me Mantu's going to do some damage. Cold might peak. He's hoping for the quick flick on the jump. Shots drawing his attention. He looks to peek over and not quite there on the flick. Cold continues to have another impact round for his squad. Talking about the toss-up between an AK and an AWP to be saved. It's always an interesting one. This was Nico. Just, it's, it's the next shot. It's the shot on Valder. He's flashed. Just comes out of it now. Get out. Get out of Nico's house. Considering how close that round was as well, that's massive fragging there from Nico just against the pistols. And that was 12, but it got a bit dicier than we thought it was going to. Guns are out. This is where OG need to get something going here. Only one round on this T side so far. Default spread. Presence towards long, presence towards tunnels, mid and cat to be garnered. But you have to get past the man with the plan. And that's Kirby's shaky aim on the org. It's been fantastic. It's been instrumental in some of their wins here. If he can continue to find impact. I'm happy for him as well. Just from a human standpoint, like to be given a new chance on a team that's already kind of, you know, halfway down the river sticks. To be given another chance after losing your motivation and kind of rotting in the North Cell, losing the very things that made you passionate about the game, now joining a team and everyone's ready to poke holes in your gameplay as you adjust to a brand new role. A role that you've acknowledged you have no experience in, and yet with some adjustments, he has thrived at least here in the grand final and on the road to it. But in the OG camp, let's keep in mind as well for them, they're, they're trying to rekindle something that may 
still forever elude them. They found individual brilliance before in the past in different lineups, different rosters. Playoffs, semi-finals, quarter-finals. But now it's the next step and a win would be everything to them. But they would have to do reverse sweep. And right now, FaZe have the reins and this hit towards A has got Nico on the other side. Going to come down to timing on these shots now because he's going to have vision obscured and actually falls out of it, which puts us into a retake situation. Oh my goodness, NBK, just his forehead visible. Nico, a hawk. This is a retake with no utility, just one flash. That's all either side. Watch has this to flash work with. sing. Watch this flash go high. Nico, though, has got other things on his mind. And Valda's already bringing the fight to them. They descend. They want to fight. Oh, gee, this could be oh, a mistake. No. They've jumped into the meat grinders. Just one left. Mantu goes down as well. And oh, gee. Chad? They had to do that. They had no utility. They had no cat control. They had to take the fight. They were just sitting, waiting, marooned on the side. They didn't know where they could move. And the option was to take the fight to phase. Well, guess what? You jump into the jaws of Cold Zero. He's going to clean that one up. That looks so peculiar. This shot was ridiculous. You can see just the very tippy top of his head. And this is them bringing the fight. Cold's patience in middle is rewarded. And a final shot provided by the Nico Orp. We talked about his CT Orping. It's the only map we see it. Kirby. Raising his hands for the invisible crowd. In fact, I say invisible. Well, they're visible now. Frankie. Good to what see you babe. all. What, babe? <laughs> what, babe? What, darling? What, darling? Good to see you, Franks. Looks like a B approach here. We've seen weakness to this side of the map before from FaZe Clan, especially against that of OG. They might just go for one of these later hits. And this time round, FaZe aren't playing in tradi transition in the same way. There's no cap presence. They're not posted up with the AWP or the org. There's no one in the middle. There isn't. Rain's working on it. And there he goes. Gets there in time and... Good flash. flash. He can get through this. Good. And he's playing... Tucking in. Smoke. He's there. They don't know this. And now a horrible surprise awaits. Rain just pours oh, down oh, through oh. middle. Perfection from Rain in these rounds. And now we've seen every individual looking great for FaZe here. This is probably the worst signs for OG now. You've tried everything. You've tried the new looks. You've tried the different looks. And you've met every pointy end of the stick from FaZe. They're not Second backing shot. down. Oh. The thing that I love about this is pushing through that smoke is a massive risk, but Rain knew that his life on the line to allow the B defenders a little bit of extra time was more important than him staying alive. And by doing that, he catches them off guard. He gets massive impact. Oh, God, they're not done. Out the round. This is pistols from OG. They can't do anything. This is over. This is all over. Caster's curse has planted a seed. Let's see how much that suspicion can possibly... Superstition is the word I was looking for. Let's see if any of that can manifest. A missed shot. Oh dear, oh dear. Cold Zera doing damage. The NBK the same. A Cold's got to play retake. Or does he want to stand and fight? Oh, Uses smoke. the smoke. It actually works in his favor. Oh. And he's ready for NBK. Cold Zera, stop it. Alexi's so planting. Good. If he kills Alexi now, this gets awkward. It's draw all onto the one man. Oh, if he jumps up again, he's dead. Oh. oh, Cold Zera's right there. And he just managed this round from start to finish. The fight in tunnel, he gets it, he pushes in, and just, he comes back out. The last three rounds, I could just go for a list. It was Nico with the AWP against the Deagles. Oh, yes. It was Rain pushing through the smoke at CT. It was Cold on B. Every member of FaZe that's been tested has got a multi-kill. And I have the multi-kill stats in front of me as my eyes frantically search the screen for the multi-kills. FaZe 16, OG 16, okay. And a reminder that this isn't just map point. This is now match point. And this is FaZe, the team that we looked at initially coming into this. this is a team broken, beaten, maybe even selling off players, rumors everywhere. And right now, they look like some of the finest form we've seen from them in a long old time. And OG dreaming of better days. But right now, their future is held in their own hands, but mostly by FaZe. Yeah, okay. So MBK's given them a gift. Served up on a silver platter, Nico. Quite the scalp. Kirby, vulnerable as well. He's going to get swung on. And Alexi starting as he Very means nice. to go on. Low HP, but already some of the heaviest lifting done. Mm -hmm. Rain with the AWP. We've oh. highlighted his AWP stats before. I think he's got about seven frags <laughs> in his career, Chad, with the AWP. <laughs> Not many. Not known for the AWPing. Go on. Give him one. No. Okay. He'll be saving that. Yeah. That's his primary responsibility with the AWP in his hands. When you get five more cracks at it, <laughs> just play the percentage CS, right? FaZe and all the other rounds have been brawly. They've been fighting. They've been taking it to OG and they've been converting. But in a 4v2 situation, money's still decent. And knowing you only need one more round, just take your time. Just save the guns. Take a deep breath. 
hold on to these right here and go back and fight because you have, like I mentioned, five more cracks at this phase clan to convert. If they lose the next five in a row, well, they still have overtime to play for. Now, for the save, given the orb to Brokey, makes sense because if the hunt comes on through, which does seem like it will be quite unlikely on the OG side of things, Brokey's more likely to hit a couple more shots than that of old boy Rain. His stats were there, honestly. I think we look back at it, there was like one or something along those lines this year. Something tiny, because yeah. we talk about him, like RPK, there's a couple names we throw around. They just never pick up the orb. Like, how often have you seen Rain with an orb <laughs> it does kill feel in the weird, kill feed? It? it does just feel, seem like a rather uh, uncomfortable mix. This was the opener. Boosted up and a very nice reactionary spray. Great control, fundamentals, definitely no absence of it from OG have been outclassed in the second half, and there's no denying that. They post their second round of the half at round 26. It's 15 to phase and five. Grand final points. It's all in again. Is this another battle? Is this going to be a bloodied one too? Kierby's made it to the pit, but the flashes are there. So's MBK finding Kierby. MBK does not want to relent. He does not want to give this up now. Oh, but Nico doesn't miss. The flick of the wrist. Mantu's gonna be pissed. Three of them in long. Valda holding the back lines for now. A bit of a Na'Vi finish perhaps from OG if they fancy this one. The full commitment to long, lurk, linger, and smoke the cross and walk. They do have the utility necessary. Now, if there's a push through mid doors right now, which could be likely, their space is gonna get halved here. Rain's clearing out towards mid. They're going to know the jig's up. That means that rotation from B can come on over very, very shortly. Here you can see Brokey already making his way. Smoke's yet to come on over to complete the cross. They have two more on the side of OG to throw one out. Just trying to bait out a reaction, bait out a rotation. Now the smoke's come down. Now the cross to the side is through. Nico's watching, sees one, call to be made. Molly comes in towards short, denying more of that. No more peaks for Nico, but he can hold Goose, so the post plant's a little more limited. And rain begins to build. It's Mantu watching this, dedicated to denying what we know to three be long. three players. He has no idea of this. It's just Nico on short. Mantu has to hold back the vast majority of phase. Yeah, he steadies his aim for the first and cold. Does make short work of... Oh, actually, never mind. Mantu found him. Saving it was traded again. by Brokey. Yeah, he's just going to have to recover the AK. That was pretty good from FaZe in terms of the decision making. The fact that Mantu gets two is even better. They use great flash work. They actually tickled him up with those, but weren't able to convert off the first death that they received. If they did, they might have had an interesting round. But the reason that you want to, uh, I guess, relieve the pressure from long first is because if the AWP is tucked in towards the pit, even if you kill the player towards Goose, the player towards the ramp, maybe someone's fighting mid long, you still have to deal with that AWP. And that's one of the toughest tasks to do when retaking that A side of things. So OG. MBK in the previous two rounds has found both openings. He's been a win condition for them in the rounds that they put on the board, rounds 25 and rounds 26. Can he do it again in rounds 27? Because OG need it at this stage. Without those openings, they've just been limp. How bad do you boys want it on OG? Do you have it in you to even consider this comeback? And then the next and the one to follow. Everything's in front of them and MBK is taking this. He's running up short. He's clearing as he goes. His confidence bubbling. He found two opening kills in the last two rounds. If he could find a third, <laughs> we've got a recipe for success. Again, with the strong A lean. And something about it's making me uncomfortable for FaZe Clan. This is MBK's quick. going. Pre-fires, they want to fight. Nico's holding the cross. He's been flashed off perfectly. Rain's vulnerable here, trying to stand and fight. The spray isn't too shabby. Needs a fresh Nips. mag. The flash ain't bad either. Nico on the cross needs to hit it. Hasn't. Rain with the fresh magazine now found, has got a multiple swing. The smokes are very much oh locking God. them out. And They're it's still great from OG, but Nico continuing to pepper. The, 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 the post plants are terrifying me. They're they can't the get back again. to Cat. They can't go on long. They are tucked in here. This is stand and fight, stand and deliver. MBK, Mantu and Valder with the fate of OG now in their hands. And Mantu's gone. He's forced to watch as the grand finals could disintegrate before them. Valder and NBK say no, at least initially. Now all on to Valder, the brave Viking that can. He's tucked into Gandalf, and it does look magical. Nico would need the wall bang. He's jiggling, he's jiggling, he's wasting time. Nico hits the shot, has he got it? GG's in the chat. And he's oh done it. 16, 3-0, FaZe Clan take a trophy. And it's in three, no less, an untarnished record and a huge win not too long with a new player on the